Hey everyone, today I am super excited because we have Nick from Stridewise. What's up? <laughs> Good day. Yes, what is going on? Surprise! So, uh, boot lovers out there, you will know Nick because Stridewise is very popular. If you are not following Nick on Stridewise, you need to subscribe. And his uh, reviews are fantastic, very in-depth reviews of all types of boots. And so I have Nick here to talk about his Red Wings and uh, boots in general. So. Uh, Welcome, Nick. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very pumped. I'm surrounded by Red Wing. Yes. I've never seen so much Red Wing in my entire life. You're a real authority in the space. This is very exciting. So today, I'm wearing the 2268 Engineers in black chrome. And Nick has on the 3340s Blacksmith. That's right. And Briars. The Briar Oil Slick. Yes. And they're looking really good. They are very good. Yeah, I'm really, I really kind of fell in love with these boots. When I saw them, I instantly thought of the Wolverine 1000 mile because of such a similar silhouette. Yeah. But this this uh, Briar Oil Slick leather is really interesting. As I mentioned in my video, uh, it's like it's like sort of like a dark russet sort of red, which means it goes with the same kind of outfit you can wear brown boots with, but also with the same kind of outfit you wear black boots with. Like, I'm not a huge fan of black boots in general, um, so these these really work really well, especially with more boring outfits, yeah. which I'm a big fan of dressing very very boringly. For a cool. fa fashion influencer, <laughs> guy, I have the most boring wardrobe on that, so I like it when the boots kind of spruce them up. And then the other boot that uh, Nick brought is the 8890, the Mokto, which I actually own as well. And yeah. these are uh, the Charcoal Rough and Tough 8890s. And you said that these were the first Red Wings you purchased. They're the first boots I purchased. Oh, sorry, the first boots you purchased. These are the boots that like took me on my long journey to where I am today. It was, cool. uh, it was back in 2014, I think it was. Okay. And I was a young lad in New York City. And uh, yeah, you know, I grew up in the tropics in Australia and I never actually needed any boots at all. So uh, when I came here, I suddenly realized that you need boots, you need boots to yeah. manage in New York City. And it's very much a sort of a demarcation between like a childhood me and adult me, which is sort of like where I got fixated on boots as, like yeah. sort of as a sort of like a rite of passage, um, especially when you come to a place like New York City. So, and then I was just shocked to find that there's just so many boots out there yeah. and they're so expensive. And uh, you know, it's sort of like the same kind of guys that might have come to our channels, like you get really obsessed with these. When it's a big Absolutely. purchase like these, when, any, when anything is over 200, 300 bucks, you really want to do your homework. Yeah, you're just, making an investment. And I just spent days and days and days. It was actually weeks leading up to actually making this, yeah. this final purchase. It was very important. And that's kind of what like wound up launching Strideways. It's yeah, like and obsessive. These are well worn if you look at that. Yeah, they're really they're really falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> you need a resole on these bad boys. I do. Yeah, I want to do a resole video or something. I just need to find a couple who'd be willing to do it on uh, on camera. If anyone's out there. Oh yeah, <laughs> Brian the boot guy in California. Yeah, yeah. I'll just fly over there. <laughs> That's a cheap resole. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But these are these are nice. I I think these were the first mock toe that I purchased from Red Wing, um, and then um, I I got these because I didn't know if they were going to be around long. So I, I purchased the these charcoal rough and tough. Uh -huh. I really wanted the 9075s, which are the all black, um, and then I got those some years later. But uh, these were the first uh, mock toes that I purchased as well. Yeah, so that's cool. It's a rough and tough leather. Yeah, it's rough and tough. Yeah, it, it looks. I like it. It's it's uh it's worn really nicely. Yeah, it's and good. I I was uh, putting urban apps on it for a long time, which I later found out was probably not the best stuff to put on boots. But I was just a little baby. I didn't know what to do with yeah. it. Yeah, and then I I have seen your uh, your Iron Rangers, yes. your eighty one elevens, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. The eighty one elevens. Yeah, and those also are very dark. They're very dark. Yeah, yeah. So I was just uh, <laughs> I was just weirded out by the idea of putting uh, mink oil on a boot. It seemed overkill. It yeah. seemed like I'm already wearing like a dead animal skin. Yeah, yeah. I probably don't need to get any more dead animals all yeah. over it. I put mink oil on my 8111s and I liked the way it looked. Yeah, Did yeah. you? Well, no, I, did, I didn't put mink oil on this. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm going to find something else. So I found okay. Urban Alps, which is like a mixture of like uh, resin and beeswax right. uh, and uh, I think propolis, I think. Uh, anyway, and it just uh, it just darkened them beyond repair, okay. um, and so now they they didn't they get that great dark. patina that yeah, I was really yeah, looking yeah. forward to with those boots. I was really excited about getting that patina, and they will now never come to me. So uh, I made it actually a, a video of uh, Red Wing boot oil versus mink oil, in which I uh, yeah, the first good. thing I say is like, for God's sake, <laughs> don't make the same mistake. I, did. I, I also put that open house on these, and it's like fine, like it's like a darker leather, so yeah. it's, not, it's not such a huge deal, and it's a different type of leather as well, but. Um, but yeah, that was my that was my first mistake of many that I made with like handling my boots. Yeah. And now I'd probably be I'm more of a neat foot oil guy now, especially with like Red Wing leather. Yeah, and, um, uh, that's that's the leather stuff. cream that's that uh, folks who ask me, oh, what will not darken my leather? 
and Red Wings leather cream is probably the best thing that I think would, would yeah. do that. Yeah, 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 I think so, yeah. And, like, it doesn't, like, penetrate the leather as deeply, right. so it's not, I mean, some people who really just want their boots to withstand, you know, really rough conditions or, like, really deep snow, that kind of stuff, like, yeah. maybe it's not exactly it. Or if you're someone who wears it in actual work environments, right. you need to withstand lava and everything else. Right. I mean, exactly. I don't know if it withstand lava. <laughs> But if all you want is just like a cool pair of boots that looks better as they yeah. age, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of Easter oil. Apparently, you need to—I mean, you do need to sort of uh, apply it a bit more regularly than you right. do with other stuff because it doesn't go quite as deeply. But Easter oil, the rendered shin and feet bones, yes. cattle. Yeah, when you think about that, even Minx oil. When you just think about that, how they make it, it's kind of—it's a bit of a turtle. All this stuff is gross. Yeah, it's yeah. the grossest stuff. That's why I went um, over now, but I, then it didn't work. Yeah. So there you go. You just got to keep on killing animals if you want to have a cool-looking boot. So I know that at uh, certain times in my videos uh, I get comments asking about certain types of boots and I've actually directed them towards you I'm like I don't review you know whatever I'm like but this guy <laughs> if you want to know about a certain boot he will review it you review every boot pretty much yeah I'm getting through them yeah, yeah. I get a lot of them and do you buy all those boots yeah, yeah. I, have, I have a, I have a great uh, castle of yeah. shoe boxes back so, my so what do you do if you buy a boot and you wear it and you're just like I really don't like this boot yeah you know I uh, I, I'm pretty willing to say that. Yeah. Like, I think the, the one thing that really bugs me is there's a lot of people out there, especially when they're able to make money on people buying stuff through their links on their website, yeah. they'll just say that every boot is a fantastic boot and you yeah. really need to buy it. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, but some, <laughs> some are definitely coming to mind. But no, I think I, I think I do a pretty good job. And especially on all the videos, I always have the pros and the cons section. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll admit that there are, there are some where the cons section is like relatively short and others yeah. are just relatively long. But there are a lot that I, that I really don't like. My Doc Martens video, uh, it got... Uh, it, it has like 50, like 2% dislikes, like oh, really? everyone hated it because the title was why I don't like Doc Martens boots. But I don't like Doc Martens boots, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I own Doc Martens when I, was, when I was in middle school, I had the ones you reviewed, the black ones. Yeah, yeah. Those. That's kind of why I say, if you're a teenager, all right, fine. You can <laughs> wear them, but otherwise, they're not great. But there are, I don't know, there are, there are a few other ones that I don't like. I didn't give a very good review to Mirman, which uh, a lot of people were surprised by. Yeah. It was like a lot of people's favorite budget brand, but uh, I wasn't that crazy about, okay. uh, about Mirman, and uh, I don't know. There are a lot of boots like they have redeeming qualities, like, yeah. you know, no, normally. But uh, I'm always happy to to call out the ones I don't like, like like uh, Helm, for instance. Right. That's like a company I quite like, the Helm boots. Um, and uh, and I do have like a, a link with them where I make a little bit of money, which I disclose in the thing. Yeah. But I'm also happy to say like they're pretty tight. Yeah. And <laughs> it took a really long time to break in. Yeah. And uh, you know, the leather sole isn't that great. Doesn't have great grip. Like I'm always happy to. Talk shit about a pair of boots. There's plenty of stuff I don't like. <laughs> so, uh, and also, folks have asked me since I have all these red boots if I've ever worn any other boots, and that I do have other boots that I have worn. These are the uh, Timberland Tackhead boots. I have them in the brown colorway and the black colorway. These I purchased at Barney's many, many years ago, and then uh, these black I found in LA and had them shipped out here. So, yes, I do own other boots. But um, I have not worn these in uh, maybe seven, eight years. Uh, everything now is Red Wing. You know, your man knows what he likes. <laughs> okay, so recently I had a comment uh, on one of my videos about what I thought about the Wolverine Thousand Mile boot. And for me, I really love that boot. I think it's a gorgeous boot. And you mentioned uh, earlier with the 3340s how you thought they looked like the Thousand Mile boot. Oh, yeah. Now, like, and I think you also compared the Iron Ranger to the Thousand Mile Boot. Oh yeah, it's, which, the, it's the biggest boot question in the world. Yeah. Red Wing versus Wolverine. Right. And I honestly, even though I have that many, all these Red Wings, I think the Thousand Mile is a beautiful boot. The one negative is the sole is very slippery. Yeah. But other than that, the silhouette is just gorgeous. And the leather is very nice. Yeah. So, um, uh, tell us about the Thousand Mile Boot. So you own it. I, I, I own the boot, yes. Yeah. I, I, someone asked me and I said, I don't own it, so I can't give you a critique, but you own it, so please tell me about that, that boot. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of go back and forth on the leather sole. Like, I used to... The fact is that it's ugly, and that it doesn't have good grip, yeah. um, and that it's not super durable. But there are upsides to the leather sole, you know? Like, it has, like, good ground feel, they call it. Like, mm -hmm. It feels nice, you know, yeah. clack, clack, clacking yeah. along the ground. Um, it's pretty flexible as well. It's relatively soft, like, you know, relatively speaking. So yeah. some people like that. Um, but I was not a fan of the leather sole. Uh, generally, I think it's a good-looking boot, and it's more versatile than I think a lot of the other. Uh, like, the, I think it's more versatile than the Red Wing Iron Ranger, for instance. Yeah, you could dress the thousand mile up. You can dress it up and dress yeah. it up, but it's it's not it's not as versatile as a lot of the boots out there today that are sort of like dress boot, work boot, right. hybrid boots. Like uh, there's Parkhurst and there's Thursday, yeah. and there's uh, Thursday really is another the, boot that people really like. Yeah, they like. Yeah, I, I like I like Thursday yeah. a lot as well because I, I really like versatility, yeah. and I don't consider the Wolverine. 
super versatile, but I guess I'd say it's more versatile than the Iron Ranger, which yeah. is what it is. Uh, my biggest complaint with uh, with uh, Wolverine is that uh, I don't think the quality control is as amazing like, okay. with the with the Chrome XL leather. Like yeah. Chrome XL is like a really nice leather, um, but the thing with Chrome XL is every boot company has one. Like there are there are Thargoes, they sell like Iron Ranger knockoffs that are similar to Iron Rangers, I right. should say, <laughs> for like 180 bucks. And there's like you know Viberg, which sells Chrome XL for 700 bucks. Yeah. So there's a lot of different. It's not different types of Chrome XL exactly, but it's like different companies have different uh, standards that they that they that they use for for their Chrome XL. So with my boots in particular, um, it wasn't great. There was a ton of loose grain and it creased really really deeply and okay. really quickly and really easily. There you go. Um, which and the thing with Chrome XL is like it's it's a little bit hard to absolutely hate any pair of Chrome XL boots. Yeah. That have loose grain and that crease easily because that's kind of in the nature of Chrome XL. But you don't see that kind of stuff on on a Viber. Now, to yeah. be fair, that boot is like you know seven hundred bucks. Right. Yeah. But that's, uh, that's true. I wasn't crazy about. Uh, I think the the Wolverine is a, it's a bit. Of, it's over three hundred dollars, and uh, within like a couple of weeks, uh, it was just like creased beyond Oof. recognition. That's but good. if you get a good pair, you get a good pair. Like yeah. there are a lot of guys out there. They just like they get a, a, a good pair of uh, Wolverine one thousand yeah. miles. The Chrome XL like lasts for a while, and if you if you're lucky in that respect, then then you're good. But there's not as much of a guarantee of uh, yeah. of, of quality with the Wolverine 1000 mile as there are with like more more expensive boots. So I know it's a bit more luck of the draw, but like besides that, like they're they're fine as so long yeah. as you're okay with the leather sole. And right. if you're not, they have the Evans, which uh, is basically the same, but it has more of a lug on the bottom, okay. so that just solves all those issues if that's like your main sticking point. Now, what do you think of the? 30 I saw your view on the 3040s, the blacksmiths. Yeah, yes, I, I said your, I saw your view. Uh, I think you called it, or questioning whether it's the best plain boot. Is that what you said? Yeah, I think, like yeah, one of the best plain, plain toe boots. Plain yeah, toe boots. I yeah, think yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, what are your what are your thoughts on the 3340s? I really like them a yeah. lot. I'm just like such a big fan of oil tanned leather. Yeah. Like I think it's super underrated. Um, I think especially for a pair of knock around boots like these. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just like it's super tough, um, and it still wears well. Like yeah. it looks good as it ages. Um, I I like them a lot. It's still not the best. Like it's not the best shock absorption in the right. entire world. It's not the best like arch support in the entire world. But that's sort of like Red Wings for you, right? Yeah. Like it's more of a tougher, uh, old school, old right. world sort of feel to the boot. But otherwise, I'm I, I really like them. I really like this bright oil slick leather. Um, as far as uh, plain toe boots go, like yeah, it's not the it's not the dressiest out there. Yeah. But I think there's especially with this particular leather, it's different enough. Yeah, that I think it's really worth an addition to the wardrobe. Um, I wear them a lot. Yeah, I think they and they're getting better looking as they age as well. Uh, yeah, shock absorption, eh, but yeah. overall. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. have a break-in either, which I was very lucky. With. Yeah, the break-in wasn't too bad with the blacksmith. It seems to. It's not. It's not like a. For me, a mock toe kills my foot. It depends on just who you talk to. Yeah. Like I, I don't know. I, I've, I've everyone else. Every other Red Wing I've had, the break-in was a complete nightmare. These were fine, but uh, most people in my comments said they had a really rough break-in with them. I don't know. Have, have um, you tried the Beckman? No, no, I was going to, yeah. uh, because there's a lot of people that want me to. Yeah. But Red Wing discontinued the Beckman. They are, uh, yes. It's they done, are. it's dead. So yeah. it's, Well, you can still find them out there, though. You can get them, yeah. but it's, uh, it seemed like it wouldn't have as much value to review a dead boot that people can't right. buy. You know? Which is unfortunate, because the Beckman is gorgeous. I know, I know. Yeah. I, was, I was sad. I, I had a lot of internal debate, but yeah. as far as the amount of time it would take but to review them. But you could find them just for your own and just your own collect personal collection and just have the Beckman. I could, I could, yeah. I could hunt them down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested in, because they're replacing the Beckman basically uh, with a, uh, yeah, they've got all these new boots like the Sheldon and the Williston. Speaking of, <laughs> we have uh, the Sheldon here and the Williston here, which you have not, yeah, have you seen or you? I have. I I know of them, but and you I've, haven't. I spent a lot of time like gazing at their pictures on but my not picture touch screen. Them. I haven't. Now he can touch them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so uh, the the Beckman is going away because of the Williston, which to me, I think there's room for both. If you look at the Williston and the Beckman up close, there's room for both because this is just very dressy, and the Beckman you can dirty up and dress up. I never got a pair of the Beckmans in my hand. Are they very similar to this? What? We gotta get a pair of records. Hold on one second. Okay. <laughs>